guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be another Russian tortoise video all about my tortoise, Fred. He's somewhere over here under his heating lamp. Um, I'm cleaning his cage today and I thought it would be a good opportunity to show you guys kind of how I clean his cage and how I take care of him, how I feed him and all that stuff. Um, so you won't really see much of me in this video. I'm just doing the intro and then it'll just be the whole process of taking care of his cage. So yeah, I hope you guys find this video helpful. Do give it a thumbs up if you find this informational, if you have a tortoise, or if you're just interested in these kinds of animals. And do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I would love to have you guys as part of my family here on YouTube. And yeah, let's get right into the cleaning process of my tortoise's enclosure. So the first thing I'm going to do is take out his little house, his water bowl, his food bowl, all that. And I'm going to take the lights on top of his cage off. So I just pretty much turn them off and then just take them off and set them on the ground. And that way I don't break any of them or anything throughout the process. I have this small cage here that I put him in while I'm cleaning his um, bigger one and I also have everything in here I used to clean so this is the scoop I use to get out all of the old padding whatever you want to call it all of the old bark that is in his cage I also need a pair of gloves so I'm gonna go grab a pair of gloves really quick I'm just gonna grab Fred and I'm just going to place him in the smaller cage. And he'll probably poop in there, but that's just part of the process. So I'm just going to scoot him aside. Take out his house. His little, this is what they like to hide in. Um, Cause they like to kind of burrow and stuff like that. So they like to be in this a lot. His food bowl has yesterday's food in it, so I'm going to replace that as well later on. And same with the water bowl. I always get nervous when I'm taking the water bowl out because I feel like I'm going to spill it. Okay. So I just have a regular trash bag and I'm just going to scoop everything in his cage out into this trash bag. And some people do reuse the bark that is in here. They'll like rinse it off and reuse it, but I don't do that. I just replace it with new bark because I'm lazy and I feel like it's just nicer for the tortoise, so. Now that all of the gross old bark is out, I'm just going to set that aside. Sometimes I will wipe down the inside of his um, enclosure with like a wet paper towel or something like that just to get all of like the extra poo and stuff out of there, but it's not really messy this time so I'm just going to leave it and I'm just going to take the scoop out put it aside. I do only clean his cage about once every like one or two months and so it's really not expensive to do and it takes me like 10 minutes to do this so it's really easy. Russian tortoises are pretty easy to care for too. Um, this is the bark that I use. I don't know what brand this is. Oh, it's called Zoomed and it's just a like mulch so it's kind of like a wet bark and then sometimes I'll also use the same, oh this is called Eco Earth and it's like a coconut bark. So sometimes I'll mix them, sometimes I'll use one or the other. Um, I think I might just use the wet bark today. And this is like the easiest part. You literally just pour it in there and I just kind of guess 
about how much I want. Um, I usually use about half the bag or, um, you know, a, a, a third of the bag. So just depending on how much I want to put in there. And then I'll just kind of move it around with the scoop. You want a good like three or four inches of bark because they, like I said, they do like to dig. So you want to make sure that they have enough room and they're not going to hurt themselves on the glass underneath. I'll need a little bit more than that. So as you can see, he has a nice, like, good three or four layers, um, three or four inches, um, the bark layer. And then I'll just put his little house back in. I like to put it on the side that there is no heat lamp. So I'll just kind of dig out where I want that to be. Same thing. I put this little, um corner roof on top of his house because he kept climbing on top of the house and if they fall over upside down it's not good for him <laughs> they could die so I make sure that I have a pointy roof on so that he can't climb on top of it so I just kind of set that on top and his water bowl I filled a few days ago so it's still full Russian tortoises don't really drink a lot of water because they get most of the water from the food so I just placed that in this corner over here and then his food bowl I'm gonna go wash that out in the sink really quick and then I'm gonna put some fresh food in it as well put his heat lamp back on I'm just going to turn it on heat lamps are important for Russian tortoises and actually a lot of different reptiles like lizards and snakes because they like to sunbathe and all that in the wild and then the white light is UV rays that you would get from the sun so pretty much the two lights just kind of help like emulate the, the sun <laughs> for them I don't know if that makes sense but yeah they need those specific lights to survive and to digest their food properly and all that stuff so with his bowl I like to put it kind of near the heat lamp because they do need the heat to digest and then I have this spring mix that's pre-washed I just get this at like Costco and stuff and it has a bunch of different kinds of lettuce in it. Um, and these are just really easy to feed them because they need a variety of leafy greens. So this is easy just to grab a handful and put it in their cage. And then I also have some fresh picked dandelions. Um, dandelions are just those weeds that usually grow in your yard. <laughs> you know, those little yellow flowers. Uh, tortoises love them, so I put those in there as well. I do usually let him outside and eat like the dandelions and the greens out in my yard when it's nice outside, but today it's a rainy day, so I just went and picked him some because tortoises don't really like to be out in the rain very much. And then I'm just going to grab him and put him back in. He is so cute. He does not like being picked up very much though. <laughs> and he'll probably go straight into his little house just because he, he gets kind of stressed out being picked up and put into the smaller cage and then put back into the other cage. He just doesn't know what's going on. So yeah. But that is pretty much it. I will get you guys closer to see what it looks like. So yeah, that's kind of the gist of it. I've got his food here, his house, and then his water over here. And I will also sprinkle his food with this calcium and vitamin D supplement for reptiles um, every once in a while because sometimes they don't get all of the nutrients they need from, uh, you know, a grocery store food because it doesn't have the same quality as stuff that grows in the wild. So I just like to sprinkle that on his food once in a while. You just need a little bit, not a lot. 
but yeah that is pretty much it it's pretty simple I really don't like keeping animals in cages all the time I think it's really cruel so I do take him out pretty much every day I can during summertime and springtime but obviously during winter and fall he has to stay in here because the weather's not good like tortoises are one of the easiest animals to take care of um, at least Russian tortoises I'm not sure about other ones and for those of you who don't know the difference between a turtle and a tortoise tortoises don't go in the water really that's turtles turtles swim tortoises do not <laughs> so tortoises like dry land um, and they like the heat kind of like snakes um, t t turtles are water animals and they can do land or water but tortoises do not like being submerged in the water so if you do buy a tortoise do not put him in water because he does not want water in fact he barely ever drinks his water over here he mostly just eats his food because that's where they get most of their water retention from but yeah that, that's pretty much the whole entire video um, that's how I take care of my Russian tortoise if you guys have any questions for me leave them down below in the description box and I'd be happy to answer them for you but yeah that's how I take care of my Russian tortoise and how I clean his cage and all that um, do give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video I know it's kind of boring if you're not interested in tortoises but um, yeah I just thought I'd show you guys since you really enjoyed my last tortoise video um, and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe down below if you haven't already. I'd love to have you join my channel and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys! It's like he is very interested in the dandelions. As I said, Russian tortoises love dandelions so he is just going for it. He's also pretty hungry because he hasn't had anything since yesterday. So yeah. He really likes it when I clean his cage. Everything's nice and clean and fresh food as always. So he really, really enjoys it. Oh my god, he's so cute. I love him.